Hello everyone, welcome to another pretty quick Sony Vegas tutorial. Uh, I've been looking for ideas for what to do on very simple things in Sony Vegas or even any other editing program and uh, couldn't quite find one, but I did a tutorial about this many years ago, but I just thought of it again because it is very useful. So uh, you might recognize some of these thumbnails. This is actually the SimCraft 3 project. I actually held on to the, the original footage and we can turn off the effects and you can see it's it's the actual footage. So I thought this would be a pretty good example of um, what we were working with. So uh, let's say you have a project and you really like how it looks and you want to perhaps save a particular effect or a certain setup of effects that you have and you have, you're using multiple effects at once. So if we go into our track effects, I'm just um, there's many different ways you can set effects. You have media effects, you have video event effects, and then you have also track effects. I happen to use track effects for some simplicity. Uh, so we have a few effects here that I use for CinemaCraft 3. Um, my color grading is usually very simple. I usually have one color curves to change kind of the overall gain and contrast, one to do the colors, and then one final contrast change. And then I adjust the saturation, usually I desaturate, and then just an unsharp mask to um, bring out some of the details. So if you were to say have color curves and you wanted to make a preset, you could say name this to color, or say maybe CinemaCraft three uh, color curves or something. And then you hit the floppy disk there and it would be saved. And you can see it's, it's right down here. Um, the problem is if you have lots of effects, if I wanted to re-add this to another project to emulate that same style, I would have to do it for every single effect. There is another system within Sony Vegas and it's called effects packages. So what we can do is, and it saves all the settings. So what, what I can do is I can, I see all these here. I go to this icon here, goes into the plugin chain. Okay, so this is actually generally how I add a bunch of effects at once. I can actually go in, hit add, hit add, so on and so forth. And I can add a bunch of effects at once. But if I go to save as here, I can make a new package. So I'll name the CinemaCraft 3 color grade version one or something. And if I hit OK, and let's get out of this. Now if I remove all these, actually it's on this track here. So this is, there's no effects on this track anymore. Let's expand this. And so if I wanted to add them again, I would actually go to filter packages and choose CinemaCraft 3 color grade one, hit OK and it adds all the effects back with all of your settings already preset up. So you're not actually making a preset, you're making a package of various effects uh, as one. And it doesn't have to be just for a track if you were to, let's get rid of all these. If you were to do it for, it could be a, a entirely different project or it could be on a different system. So you also have your output effects. So specifically something for the output, and I can add it on here and it would do the same exact thing. It's actually doubling up right here. So it's a very easy way of developing a certain look of effects without um, without having to do it for every single effect. So that's just a quick thing that um, I remembered that I knew how to do and I thought it'd be very useful for people. Uh, you'll notice that the highlights are kind of weird and the HSL adjust in uh, Sony Vegas for some reason is screwed up for me. If you notice it, it makes highlights just completely gray. Anyways, that's uh, pretty much it for this tutorial, and uh, I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.